Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mark from Boiling Steam, aka Calculer. Yes, I am a big fan of red meat. Today I got the new Xbox Series X controller, and I'm going to try it out on Linux. And I'm also going to try it out on Switch. So I'm not going to spend too much time unboxing this, because there's already plenty of unboxing videos out there. I don't know how those guys get their re review units so early. But at any rate, I just got mine from Amazon a little less than an hour ago, so let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, guy. So we got a Shock Blue Xbox controller. Looks like it's just Xbox. They don't give it a Series X or a Series S name, just Xbox, I guess. I wish I had known it would have been white on the back because then I would have just gotten the white by itself and the blue for some reason was five dollars more expensive and I only ended up saving about five dollars from the uh, DualSense controller. We got our side here, shock blue, uh, it's not the, not in the best packaging. Xbox Series X, looks like it works on Xbox One, Windows 10, Android, oh it has iOS too. This will probably work on the Switch, I will give that a quick test. And it's more than likely going to work on Linux as well. I don't expect anything to go wrong on Linux, since it's very similar to the Xbox One controller. Which unfortunately I don't have a controller to compare that with. Alright, let's get to unboxing this. Okay. Oh yeah, guy. Okay. It feels pretty light. It's definitely lighter than the dual sense. Yeah, not bad. Huh. And look at this. It's still using the double A batteries from the Xbox One. Oh, how do I get this thing open? Oh, there we go. Alright. And then plus, goes right here. So, as far as differences go with the Xbox One controller, it has a hybrid, quote, hybrid D-pad, which I don't really know what that means. I was reading an article from IGN that said that it feels a little deeper than the d-pad on the xbox one so your finger can go in a little further i mean it's pretty small for my thumb and speaking of small the engineers at microsoft have somehow managed to fit this into smaller hands by rounding off the triggers i guess and the triggers have this sort of uh padding to it I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they got some padding here on the triggers. And they have the four different colors for the buttons on the inside of this, whatever you call it. It's all blue here. It has a share button, whatever that does. But otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the Xbox One controller. It has Bluetooth connectivity in addition to the, uh, the wireless, whatever it's called, 2.4 gigahertz standard or whatever. Uh, speaking of that, let's see if it's come with a dongle. Oh, turn this thing apart. I hope you didn't see that code. That is a Game Pass for two weeks. I don't know how that's going to work on Linux. So we got... A little uh, manual here. Pretty, pretty simple. You put the batteries in. It works on Xbox, the phone, the laptop. Looks like you can hold, press the uh, receiving button for three seconds to pair it through Bluetooth. And that's pretty much it. So, there you have it. So it doesn't look like it comes with a dongle. I don't know, I don't know how this feels. It's definitely got a clickiness to it. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or not. So yeah, let's go ahead and test this thing on Switch first, see if that works on Switch. Bruh. Alright, so here we are on Linux. Let's see how it works. So first I'm going to connect it through USB-C. Oh, and the vibration was there. Oh, yeah, guy. Oh, beautiful. Generic Xbox pad. At least you got the icon. Right, let's test these guys out. Trigger. The analog sticks seem to be working just fine. Triggers. Oh, yes. Triggers are working good. Oh, nothing for the share button. Everything else seems to be okay. And I forgot to mention, this controller has got some sort of proprietary connection for whatever that does, and a 3.5mm headphone jack, and USB-C for connectivity. I just wanted to test real quick to see if the vibration works. It looks like it does. So let's just go to motor here and select a couple of these. Uh, maybe they're not supposed to select all of them. How about just sign? Yes, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, two signs won't make a rumble. Okay, square's working. How about triangle? Oh, yes. I think they're all the same. Now, that one's a little less of a rumble. Okay, so r vibration is working. But the buttons... See, B... Okay, B's mapped to B. A is mapped to Y. X is mapped to A. Okay, so we're going to have to redefine those. Okay, we got our C stick back. Oh, good news is we got our analog for our triggers. We can, we got sensitivity there. Nice. So that's a benefit over the dual sense right now. All right, now let's see if this works in Bluetooth mode. Okay, so we got slowly flashing means I guess it's trying to connect. And then if we hold this receiving button down for three seconds, then it'll go faster. All right, so let's go to Bluetooth. Let's search for a device. There it is. Let's go ahead and pair that. And then connect. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. What's going on here? Okay, now it says Xbox wireless controller. Now let's go to same big picture mode here. Okay, we got Xbox style buttons. Generic gamepad. Xbox. I don't think we need to do that. Oh, let's try SpongeBob. Yep, looks like the controls are working just fine in Spongebob. Run for your life, Patrick! Alright, so, good news here is we don't have to reach and find the controls. There's another game we can try out. Maybe, uh... Maybe grounded. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. I wanted to keep it short. I'm definitely going to need some more time with this. I'm really surprised that the Bluetooth was not working out of the box. Maybe just on my side. 
Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys able to use Bluetooth? Have you gotten this Xbox controller yet? What do you think of it? And uh, what are your thoughts on it?